Well, hello everyone and welcome to another video with me, your host, and the music being kind of low. There we go. Music's a little louder now. Today I'm going to actually run through the FF8 event, not because it needs a walkthrough, not because it needs a guide, but because I have been waiting for FF8 to be added to this game for so long, and it's a pretty cool little event. Ever since FF9, when they put an exploration event in, there is a lot of nice detail added to these maps, and I think that deserves a little recognition. So, of course, we'll be doing hard mode because, well, I still need to get this because I forgot to do it earlier. Why not? Let's take two squalls. Where one squall is good, two is better. Let me just check and see what my warrior of light is equipped with. Yes, it's the 100% evade build best build wait a second wait 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 did i forget squall i guess we have a squall it's not a big deal and how embarrassing i forgot to preload this ah oh, well i didn't want to waste the stamina Stamina is very valuable right now on the JP side because there are just so many things to do. First of all, fantastic choice. I love that they uh, added the music. It's really nice that uh, the exploration events sometimes have brand new enemies and just brand new other things. Now let me look at my party. Oh my god, we have... Okay, okay, we have... No squall. Well, that's going to be make this a little bit more interesting. I guess we have a friend squall. That's fine. So the one thing I will say is that there doesn't seem to be any nice hidden things or any hidden secret paths. Pretty much everything is just right laid out for you. But of course we have this, which is just a great... I remember this. This is one of my most memorable part, one of the most memorable parts of this game to me. Alright, so of course he chases you down in this and that's just really, really cool. Uh, yeah, let's hit him with this. We're not shy of MP. There we go. I was like, why did it only do 6,000? Renoa is way more powerful than that. You do not mess with Renoa. Look at that busted thing. Oh, yeah, that's what he gets for trying to mess with our Renoa. Matter of fact, Renoa has kind of become more of my favorite unit of the all of the FF8 ones. Squall is still really, really good. But... Nothing beats Renoa to me. Chook, 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 chook. Oh! Oh, Laswell, you fool. Oh, Laswell, you fool. Let's, let's, let's give him a bad day, shall we? This should be... You know what? He, he's just not quite built for... You know, he's kind of the first enemy, real first real boss you fight in the game, and he's just not quite built for standing up to a Lionheart or a double chain tornado. Somehow we ended up on the other side of him too, that's really handy. So we're going to make sure, and this is, I mentioned this in my unit review, but I don't think I stress this enough, how fantastic Rem really is. First of all, you know, we can just do this, give herself auto revive, and you know, Warrior of Light, he's, he's a good guy, he's just going to 
cover us, make sure that we're nice and safe. We're gonna kill the snake. Okay, I guess, uh, oh, I, they're probably using magic. They're, they're using magic. It's fine. Don't mind Nox. It's just struggling along. So now we can just do this. And this makes doing any summon challenge now so much easier. Look at this. Oh, down. Oh, up. Oh, look, we're fine. Do we want Diablos? Do we want... No, we don't want Fenrir. Fenrir's... Oh, right. He's not my friend. Well, I guess Shiva it is. I have summons and everything turned off, so Nox actually runs a little bit smoother tonight. There we go. We got the last challenge. But the interesting thing is that it seems like the boss actually gets stronger the more times you fight him. I just wish that uh, it's... I wish that the map had a few more nice little secrety areas. It would be really cool if you could just go in and play uh, Tetra Master right in the bar, but nope. Oh, it's cool. You gotta admit it, he, he is persistent. You know what, let's, let's, let's just totally show this guy up. We're not even going to double cast. But we are going to break him, just because. Isn't that sad? He didn't even laugh. I tell ya, Renoa is just fantastic. And I'll be doing one more round of the Step Up Banner for FF8. Hopefully I can get one more Renoa. I would actually like two seven-star Renoas to chain with. All right, well, you know what? Let's just completely destroy him going to be very, very sad for this guy. He's like, oh, I'm really tough. You remember me from your childhood when you wasted 10 minutes trying to beat this thing? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I do. Unfortunately for you, this is not my childhood anymore. Go to work, girls. Easy, easy, not even a challenge. Ba -da -ba. But again, nice callback to a great moment from video game history. That is easily probably one of the most memorable parts of FF8 to me. And I want to give it a little bit of credit, because Alum did a good job recreating it. It looks and plays really fun. Yeah, I enjoyed it. And it always feels good to get that complete. And just to make a point of it before we go, because... The queen herself is just so good, and we're just going to give her a little more attention in my video. Recently, I actually did beat a new challenge on the JP side. Uh, I believe it's one of the weapon challenges, the 12 weapon challenges. One of the more newer ones. So now I have this nice little crown that gives 50 magic. Seems pretty good. 
Matter of fact, if I really wanted to, because when I was doing my review, I thought about it and I'm like, probably you just could have put that on and had 1200 magic stats. Oh well, that's the way it works. I sacrificed some strength just for pure magic. And I'm wondering, I'm wondering if Renoa could possibly, maybe, with a Wind Veritas, with a max limit break, and a couple of tornado spells, or triple tornado spells, could OTK the Blood Moon. Might be worth testing. Either way, uh, later this week, I will probably be doing the last of my step-up banners. Uh, I actually ended up doing the first round already, and, or the first step, but I have another four steps to go, and I'll be doing that a little bit later, especially because Hearthstone's expansion doesn't come out till December. That is good news for me. All right, so that is it for the Final Fantasy VIII event showcase. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I will see you in the next video. Nox, can't you just play the audio properly? Anyway, later everyone.